So, could you tell us a few words about your work and your experience so far? Since it's relevant with copyright issues and the thing that's going on with the opening up right yeah. now of art. I'm Matthias Fritsch. Uh, I'm a visual artist and filmmaker from Berlin, Germany. And I work a lot with um, collaborations with other people. So, for instance, I have a project uh, called Music from the Masses where I post um, silent videos, silent music videos actually, but they are not music videos yet because they are silent online. And uh, there's an open call for musicians and amateurs, everybody that loves music, to take these videos and have them for free. The only thing I, I want is that they send me a soundtrack that they produce for this video. So it's kind of an exchange project, there's no money involved. I do what I can do best making videos, they do what they can do best making music. And so far uh, created 250 videos over the last five years, so people are happily picking it up. We see that there is a change in the mode of production of uh, intangible goods and generally a change in the creative industry sector in general. Um, and we're coming across an opening up of art. Could you tell us your view on that and again according to your experiences so far? And, uh, yeah. So according to my experiences with uh, media content that I produced, um, I made much better experiences when I just gave my material for free. So when I opened up, rather than limiting it to, an, for instance, only in gallery or only in exhibition use. Um, by opening up, of course, you have a certain risk that people might mess around with your material in a way that you don't expect. But this also creates a chance because uh, some people, from, from what I experienced, they do really exceptional interesting stuff, like things that I didn't expect it at all. So I think it's, uh, it's a good way to be more open rather than to try to control your own intellectual property. Mm -hmm. So we can now go to the subject of intellectual property since you mentioned it and about we see a, a general movement towards open licenses and um, um, refiguration of ownership and copyright issues and reuse, which enables and facilitates access to digital material and tools. Um, what do you think about that? Yeah, I think there's a general problem with um, the copyright system that we have at the moment. Um, for instance, look at the Facebook culture. Um, everybody is constantly sharing material, media, images, videos um, with all their friends. But who's really checking the rights behind that? So I think you, you can say that at least 95% of Facebook users, they, they are doing illegal actions. They are, are maybe criminals because they just take uh, intellectual property that is copyright protected of other people and just spread it into the world. So there, I think there's a basic conflict because um, how can you criminalize 95% according to the law. I think in this way that the law has to adjust to the new circumstances, like to the very fast reality in the internet and uh, licenses like uh, copyleft or creative commons, they are very helpful just to keep users more safe and uh, let them know okay that it's actually okay to share that content because in the end there's no original, that's what I believe. Like when we grow up, we, we learn words, but we didn't invent these words. We just learn how to imitate them and how to use them and put them together so they create a meaning. And it's the same with artworks and um, creative, creative stuff that people do. It's basically just a recombination of something that already existed before. And therefore, I think um, somebody that wants to own something like that uh, is wrong because he's just inspired by something that already existed before. It's a bit like stealing to own something. <laughs> stealing from the public. Just a uh, last question and since you've been here two days, I don't know if you have managed to form an opinion about the situation here and what's going on and it's really on an initial level here things increase but we're really 
looking forward to uh, listening to your opinion about uh, the opening up of art and considering the situation in Greece here, the economic crisis, whether this is helpful, whether this is something that we should, you know, um, go uh, forward with and continue uh, toward this direction. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's not the first time that I'm in Greece. In fact, I'm rather active in, in Athens. And uh, already for the fourth year, I'm organizing a festival here, which is circling around uh, contemporary silent film culture. And uh, since I got in touch with Greece and also experienced the hard conditions of everyday life that is coming out of the crisis, um, every time we made all the events for free, because I think Okay, it's important to have food on your plate, but it's also important to have like a quality of life that is basically also coming out of culture. So therefore, to provide uh, free culture to everybody is a really important fact, uh, which can also make a crisis better, in a way. Maybe you don't have to think about the suffering all the time. <laughs>